Welcome to our lecture online. Now that we've been introduced to rational exponents, now we need to know how to do different operations with expressions that have those rational exponents. For example, we need to know how to multiply, divide, factor, and simplify expressions that contain rational ex uh, exponents or that, ex that contain radicals, which in essence is the same as rational exponents. So here we have a variety of the four different kinds of operations we want to become familiar with and then later on we'll show you some very specific techniques on how to deal with those. But let's do first an example of what these are like. So here again when we have two binomials and we multiply them together well you're going to take each term of the first binomial and multiply it times each term of the second binomial then you take the second term and do it again. So again we're going to use it like that here when we divide, we're going to divide the denominator into each of the terms in the numerator. Here we're going to learn how to factor even though we don't have exponents that are typical. And finally we're going to learn how to simplify by writing this over a common denominator. We'll show you how to do that as well. But let's start out with multiplying. So here we have x to the 3 halves times x to the 3 halves. When the base are the same, we add exponents. 3 halves plus 3 halves, let's just write it out. 3 halves plus 3 halves like this plus when we multiply this times this we get x squared or not x squared x to the 3 halves power that doesn't look like a very good 3 here there we go and uh, y to the 1 half power and multiply this by this we get plus another one x to the 3 halves times y to the 1 half and then multiply this times this we get plus y to the 1 half plus 1 half so you can see that I simply wrote it out where if we multiply, we simply add exponents. So 3 halves plus 3 halves is 6 halves, which is x to the third. And there we go, x to the third. Plus, here we have two of these terms. So we have 2x to the 3 halves, y to the 1 half. And then plus 1 half plus 1 half is to the first power. So this is the resulting uh, product when you multiply those two binomials together. So simply we use the same technique, we just have to watch how we handle the exponents. When we divide, we can in essence write this as 12x to the 3 halves divided by 3x to the 1 half minus 15x to the 5 halves divided by 3x to the 1 half. So we can essentially write it like that or over the same common denominator, which is exactly the same. And then we can say that 12 divided by 3 is 4, and x to the 3 halves divided by x to the 1 half, we subtract exponents, so 3 halves minus 1 half, like this, minus 15 divided by 3 is 5, and here again we subtract exponents, 5 halves minus a half, and let's see here, 3 halves minus a half is 2 halves, which is 1, so we get 4x to the first power, minus... 5x to the 5 halves minus 1 half is 4 halves, 4 divided by 2 is 2. So that would be 5x to the second power. Over here, when we need to factor, well, let's see here. We have x to the 2, 2 fifths plus 3x to the 1 fifth minus 4. So if it's factorable, we can write it as a product of two binomials. Here, what we need is we need x to the 1 fifth and x to the 1 fifth. Notice when we multiply these together, we add exponents, we get two fifths back. Later on, we'll show you a neat technique of how to employ that. Here on the, on the end, we have a minus four, and here we have a plus three. That means we need a plus and a minus. When we add them together, we get plus three. When we multiply, we get minus four. So how about a plus four and a minus one? Multiply, you get minus four, add, you get plus three, and that is the proper way of factoring that. And finally, when we want to simplify this, we, we want to write this as follows of the same common denominator. So I'm going to multiply both the top and the bottom. I think this pen is dying on me. Get rid of that pen. All right, so multiply the top and the bottom by the square root of x. So now we have the same common denominator. So now this can be written as 2 plus 3 times the square root of x times the square root of x over the same common denominator as the square root of x. And of course, if you have the square root of x times the square root of x, that's simply equal to x. So this can be written as 2 plus 3x divided by the square root of x. Now typically we don't like to leave it with a, with a um, radical in the denominator and then later on in a different chapter we'll show you how to rationalize the denominator which means get rid of the radicals in the denominator but for now we just want to write it over the same 
common denominator to show you how to do that. So these are the four different kinds of operations we're going to get a little bit more practice in in this chapter before we move on and actually learn how to rationalize denominators probably in the next chapter. And that is how it's done.